tin openings are here and these tins have quite some amazing surprises for us. Those cards will be doing pre-sales today at about two to three this afternoon, give or take a little bit. So if there's anything that you guys want on the site, remember discount code MCO40 is going to save you on your purchase over there. And I gotta tell you, there's gonna be a lot of interesting things happening with this set. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Wow, Trap Tracks is an ultra rare for this set. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really happy that we're getting this rarity upgrade for this. Like, honestly, good. The Memento Field Spill is also also getting ultra in this set, which is kind of cool. Definitely was not something I was initially expecting to see. Trickstar Light Stage QCR. This is actually hilarious because where's the Light Duels pack? You know, I, I'm assuming that we'll see that stuff soon. Red Dragon Archfiend and Ultimaya Tazolkin, both taking up QCR slots. And honestly, I'm very happy about Tazolkin. Tazolkin has been such a broken card to mess around with. And now that you can have an extra deck slot dedicated to the higher rarity card, I think that's a W in my opinion. Uh, Water Aberesque becoming a Seeker Rare. Thanks, Konami. I greatly appreciate this. And then Minimus Elephant. Hmm. Looks like a lot of the Ultras this set are going to be a little bit less desirable than we kind of thought. So, Infernoble Turpin coming in at ultra rare status as well. I mean, okay, I guess. Now this one's really cool. The Gunkyuken Suship Sherry Red is an ultra rare. I'm happy about this, honestly. Like, I, I don't think anybody's really gonna be too upset about that, especially let the Sushi players have their upgrade, all right? Wing Karibo is a QCR, the winking one. I did not expect that, but okay. It would also appear that the Apurely Nor is also in here, or excuse me, Apurely Plump is in here. We got the Dark Corridor as a rarity upgrade, so I don't have to listen to people go, oh, I, I can't have these now. Your $6 Dark World Structure decks that you could get online are now budget. Uh, Ruby Carbuncle as a QCR is beautiful. I love that. Super Heavy Samurai Security also finding its way in here as an Ultra. And it also appears that Fire Engine has also gotten a rarity upgrade. Sure, I guess. Ooh, we got our first look at the limiter removal here. Uh, this secret rare looks gorgeous, man. Like, I, I'm extremely happy to see how that prismatic secret rare glistens so amazingly well. Like, good job. Light of the Branded coming in as an ultra rare. I uh, warned you. Some of these ultras leave a little bit to be desired in this set. Uh, it also appears Mana Diem got some pretty interesting upgrades here. Mana Diem Imaginings getting an ultra rare slot, and Fearless also getting ultra rare slots. Too bad, you know, these cards aren't exactly the greatest anymore. Labyrinth Wall Shadow got an upgrade. Oh my gosh, this is such cool news for us Gate Guardian players. You know, we'll take this. Gimmick Puppet is a QCR. I'm so sorry for your loss after the last ban list. You're somehow expected to pick up the pieces. And Infernal Flame Banshee looking really cool. And then we have another Ultra Rare. Forge a New Future. Ah boy, I really love these Ultra Rares. Arius coming in as a prismatic secret rare. You know, I I don't have an opinion on this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, sure, a, a secret for a secret printing. I guess we'll take it. Uh, we also have the Borolo Dragon getting a QCR for the alt art. You know, I'm, I'm okay with this. I always really did like this art. I think that's cool. Sweet Dreams Nemorelia getting an ultra upgrade. Uh, that was not on my bingo sheet. But all right, Mary Millie's getting an ultra upgrade as well. Darling Cobra getting a QCR. Huh. That one's interesting. Quem is also an ultra rare, which means it should be easier to pull in the tins. So this should be very budget friendly for people. Light and Darkness Dragon QCR. My favorite card in the whole wide world is a QCR. Yee! Morganite also got a Seeker rare. I, I, and Hornsaurus for the, the new support that you can now use with Jirax is get a free rarity upgrade. I, okay, sure. Link Spider got a QCR. Um, I don't have much of an opinion on this, actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that they chose Link Spider as an upgrade, honestly. But, okay. I interesting choice, Konami. Uh, Vanquish Soul Heavy Borger Seeker Rare. So it does look like we did get some Vanquish Soul reprints in here. Noble Arms Museum also getting that fantastic Seeker Rare upgrade. You do see the side tin card down here. 
Stand-up Centurion is in the tens. This means that, I don't know if Centurion cards are all confirmed in here, but it looks like, well, I did see Emblem earlier, so yes, you are getting Stand-up. Uh, Motorbiker is in here as well. Interesting choice, Konami. We'll say that. Bahamut Shark is also in here as a QCR, okay? And then there's Torrential Tribute. I, I guess they chose Torrential Tribute in this set as like an iconic QCR, to be honest with you. Interesting choice. Card looks great though. All right, we also have Lady Rose Diamond Gem Knight. Got a rarity upgrade, that's really cool. Okay, we got our, they, they, they made Junk Warrior a secret rare. Instead of, you know, giving us a good art, or something. That's the version that they gave us. Ido the Supreme Being is also in here as a QCR. Okay. We also got heavy polymerization, which lets you fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using three or more monsters from your hand or field as material. You can also banish monsters from your extra deck as material up to the number of monsters your opponent controls, but you lose life points equal to the total attack of monsters banished this way. And, or when that monster is fusion something, it's kind of interesting. We also got our first look at the secret Macaba. Nice. Anima, looking adorable. Lyos, interesting. And why is Combat Wheeler in here? <laughs> who who asked for Combat Wheeler as an ultra rare? Like, I get you wanted to do some rarity upgrades, but come on, man. Like, why? We also got Melfi Prinny. Okay. I see you. I see you. Okay. Flamber's Dragons in here is a secret. The card was already, like, a dollar. The fact that you were reprinting it in an extremely already available rarity... Okay, Chimera Fusion also popping in here as a rarity upgrade. I can tell you how many people are going to be super excited that they're going to be able to upgrade Chimera. Like, actually is insane. We also have Medisaurus Dragon down here as an ultra rare. Interesting. I also would appear that we're getting some Earthbound Runic upgrades. <laughs> yeah, okay. Tier Elements, Perglia, the field spell. I, I know nobody plays this, but like, it's kind of cool that we're just going to have a rarity upgrade for this anyway. It would also appear that we got the, the Lone Pendulum Duelist Pendulum Scale. And Huli is getting a rare, or not Huli, uh, one of the girls is getting an upgrade. <laughs> we're not at the Huli upgrade just yet, but interesting stuff here to say the least. Now, we have Cyber's Druus Worm getting an ultra print this is actually really good considering the fact of what's coming here in the future considering the fact that the neo tempest terror hurts firewall dragon you do see both of these side by side getting those key rarity upgrades like this is actually really good starring knight also getting an ultra printing i don't know who asked for this either but okay another look at the mediasaurus dragon guilty a gear freed getting a qcr i'm actually fine with this to be honest with you this was a pretty cool super poly target every time that it's relevant in the meta so to actually have this you know showing up is good it also appears a gold pride leon is in here as well um i didn't think that they would reprint the gold pride stuff i'm gonna be honest with you most of the time the world uh, premiere stuff definitely gets skipped over okay and then shayama getting an upgrade all right i see you kanami all right we uh unchained players are gonna be extremely happy about that all right now one of the biggest upgrades that we have been wanting here was Huli. Huli found its way into the tens as an ultra rare. And I've already heard a lot of genuinely positivity towards this. A lot of people are very happy that we did get the Huli upgrade. Also appears Ground Zeno got a rarity upgrade. You also do see up here, we have the Emblem of Oath getting that um, printing in here as well. So now Centurion players can actually play the deck because we do have that new support coming out in Rage of the Abyss. I think Konami wanted to make it so that you're able to play that stuff very easily. Big Wing Burfelman also getting a huge, huge print here coach king giant trainer that's such an interesting pick for a qcr2 i mean to be fair though i i'm not gonna complain to be it, it's needed something higher okay it also appears we got chaos ancient giant and black winged dragon as rarity upgrades as well i i guess i guess we'll take that and last but not least here we have thea the primal being during the main phase quick effect you contribute monsters whose total level is equal 11 or more so let's send this card from the hand then if you control no other monsters you can destroy one monster on the field with the highest attack your choice if tied you can only use the effect of Thea, the primal being, once per turn. And neither player can normal or special summon more than four times per turn while this card is face up on the field. Huh, okay. Sleipnir, Fishes of Stroud getting reprints. Also appears Fire Attacker and Emergency got some rarity upgrades. And 
storage pod is in here. High storage pod. For what purpose? Is this a raging abyss sign? I don't know, but that's everything so far. Whew. So what do you guys think? Please, so comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Patrons! Thank you! Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.